Hey guys, this is uh, SS or SLE number 15 notes, or not notes, but odd problems worked out. These are called literal equations. So you've seen maybe some of these um, on different things. They want us to get P by itself. Okay, so 2 times L wants to move over. So I'm going to subtract 2L from both sides. And so we get A minus 2L because we can't combine the letters, is equal to P, and we're done. Number three, you have F equals MA. It's a nice physics equation. We want to get A by itself. Well, M and A are being multiplied together, so un in order to undo multiplication, you have to divide. So you get A is equal to F over... Boy, if I could write right now, it would be good. So you're going to get A is equal to... F divided by M. Problem number five. We have uh, 2X minus 3Y is equal to 6. We want to get Y by itself. Okay, so I'm going to do the opposite of 2X, which is minus 2X on both sides. Those cancel. So I get 6 minus 2X. And then uh, negative 3 and Y are being multiplied together, so divide both sides by negative 3. And that answer like that is totally fine. Some people prefer to have the negative up top, but uh, I put it kind of in the middle maybe. But it doesn't really matter where you put that negative, top, bottom, or if you put it on top, make sure you distribute it over, but that's a fine answer. And we want to get y by itself, so it's right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 first. I'm going to start reverse engineering it, or breaking it down. And then x and y are being added together, so I'll just subtract x from both sides. Those cancel. So you get y is equal to 2a minus x. Number nine. Oh. <laughs> Number nine. N over seven plus three is equal to eleven. So we just want to get N by itself. So I subtract three from both sides. Those cancel. N over seven is equal to eight. Well, N over seven is division. So if you multiply by both sides by seven, those cancel. And eight times seven is fifty-six. Number 11, and I have 18 x minus 4 parentheses 3 x minus 1 is equal to 3 times 2 x plus 6 minus 14. So remember on this one, distribute the negative 4 over the parentheses. So both sides and in, signs inside the parentheses will change. Distribute positive 3 over there. No signs change there because it was a positive 3 we distributed. Combine like terms, those are like terms. So that's going to give me 6x plus 4. And then combine like terms, that's also going to give me 6x plus 4. Does that look the same on both sides? Yeah, if you subtract 6x from both sides, you're going to wind up getting a true statement. 4 equals 4. So that's infinite solutions. And that's it.